If you want to access the internet, you use Chrome. If you want to access the internet but can't be bothered to download Chrome, you use Edge or Safari. If you want to access the internet but you're a hipster, you use something like Brave or Opera. And then there's the subject of today's video, Arc, an internet browser that's been making waves in a tech space and it's been finally ported over to Windows, so it's as good of an excuse as any to check it out and see what all the fuss is about. I'm ready to be disappointed. So here we are on the amazing, very blue website, what I don't mind. Let's see if this is worth all the hassle. Okay, I don't think I've seen quite such a bombastic installation screen in a while. Meet the internet again. Very bold claims. Okay, so first of all, you don't even have an option of skipping, making an account. You have to make one. I don't see an option to skip, but like, whatever, that's like most stuff nowadays. Okay, so I can actually import stuff, which is awesome, so boom, just import from Chrome. And yeah, I'm definitely not making Arc default, sorry. Uh, I'm not really exploring my options, more so just uh, making a video about them. Who knows, maybe at the end of it, I will actually switch over. I highly doubt it, and even if I did like it, I'm way too stubborn to admit I'm wrong, but still. There it is, and what on earth am I even looking at? Okay, let's just do the obvious and see what exactly is going on here. And clearly, even though I said to copy all my stuff over from Chrome, I'm not even logged into Google. So that's interesting with all the tabs being on the left. I don't see why when every single browser has them at the top, but sure. What else can I do here? View split options. Oh, so instead of making individual windows, I can have just in one single arc instance, have Twitter here and YouTube here. So I can get the press from two sources at once. Nice. I do want to experiment a bit more with these tabs though. New space, new folder. What enough is... Okay, so that's just like a brand new thing. We can even like customize it and all. That's interesting. It reminds me of the multiple desktop feature for Windows, if you guys don't remember that exists. Like it's nice in theory, but I don't know anyone who uses it. You can have folders, that is cool as well. What else can we customize here though? Wait a second, is uBlock Origin installed by default? Uh based okay and it looks like you have like you know proper extension support so if you want to have other extensions you can huh okay settings wise what else can i do i do like that the settings are basically just windows theme like this is just windows but inside the browser space so at least they're being consistent with the ui that's some great options there i really can't even tell the difference here's your arc card show it off to the world or keep it to yourself okay what is it though? I'm a brave dreamer apparently. I can also make separate profiles if there's like several people using a single PC, which is interesting, but again, not something I really need. And apart from that, I really can't find anything else to do here. I can't remember who it was on Twitter, but I saw someone say that Arc is basically just a solution looking for a problem. And yeah, I can get it because, I mean, why does it do some things the way it does? Like, why does it have tabs on the side? Why does it defy the convention of having all your tabs at the top? And this is just me or is this thing just very pretentious? Like it's trying to make it seem like it's just this next big revolutionary thing. In the meantime, I'm struggling to even see what else I can talk about here in this very video. There has to be more, right? Am I just missing something? I mean, it looks nice, but that's about it. So let me know what you think about this. There's probably stuff I missed. Let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I'll do another video about this, but for now, I really don't get the hype. I'm also probably going to get a lot of hate comments from the art clubbers out there. So if you want to make you feel better about those, then definitely check out our Patreon. Biggest people checking it out always makes you feel better. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Dev Panda, Nosko of Kane, Bardish Volker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Mick Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, and Love Lup. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then Remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.